instigated by what God is doing in, in Nigeria, it will become the food basket. It will become the food basket to provide resources, begin to replenish, and their, and their money will change nations. Their money will rebuild cities yeah, with, with their resources that they have, with the people that they have. God will begin to use them as a model nation, moving them out of corruption and into righteousness, moving them from a place of poverty to the place of wealth, moving them back on the ladders of promotion because righteousness will strike at the heart of every corruption and the work of the enemy is going to cease. I see Nigeria rising in a fresh new way. This is a new day in Nigeria. This is a new day. It's a new hour. No, no more turning back. It's not just one term. God is going to expand the term. He's going to push it again and again and again and again. And again and again, righteousness will be the order of the day. I say again and again, the righteousness will be the order of the day. The one coming after General Buhari has taken his presidency to the next level. The ones, next one coming in, the next one coming in, the next one coming in. God said there are four or five terms. God is going to give four or five terms up there into Nigeria so that Nigeria will completely turn around. Not just for this man, this, this general alone. Not for this present president alone. There will be four, another four or five more. They will continue to bring re reformation across the earth. Continue to bring transformation so that Nigeria will not just rise for a short, short moment and become like a shooting star and then disappear out of context. God is saying, I'm going to build an enduring house. I'm going to build an enduring house in Nigeria. It's going to remove the powers of death. Corrupt, corruption and corrupt men are going to no longer walk on the soil. God touched the soil. He said it's fertile. He touched the soil and he said it's holy. Because he's coming down by the power of the Spirit. He's going to bring about new change. Because he's going to give hope back to Nigeria. He's going to give back hope to Africa. If Nigeria can change, all of Africa can change. And God is saying, this is the message I'm going to send. I'm going to send the message all across Africa. And turn things around in a powerful way. So, so get ready. A new day is born. A new day is being birthed. The corruption removed, corrupt men removed, the things of negative been removed. God will begin to sow righteousness, and break up the fellow ground. I see that they will rise in agriculture in a very powerful way. The people will not be poor anymore. The, the ground will make them rich. The ground in Nigeria will become fruitful. We speak to the ground in Nigeria. Let oil come forth. Let minerals come forth. Let live food come forth. Let all kinds of blessing come forth from the ground. And God will begin to bless the land because He's redeemed the land in a powerful way. Nigeria, you shall be great again. Nigeria, you shall be strong again. This is our word to you in, in the name of Jesus. And this, every Nigerian will hear the sound of this prophecy and begin to take courage. It's not by race that we win. It's not the north winning. It's not the south winning. It's not the southwest winning. God is in control. He wants everyone to be a champion. He wants everyone to be a leader. He wants everyone so that the nation can be filled with the resources of heaven and reformation that will take place. Transformation that will take place. We have become a model nation in the four or five terms that is ahead in the presidency. New things are going to happen. Men that will create strife will no longer be around because God will judge them and remove their power. He will judge them and remove their influence. So that the new generation that is rising will not look for corrupt men. They're not going to look for recycled leadership material. Because they are going to lead. There's a whole wave of new things that's going to happen. The young men in, in Nigeria will going to rise. There's going to be a whole crop of people rising in Nigeria. The young men and young women. Those who are professional. Those who think professionally. Those who think about progress. Those who think about the things that God is saying. They will arise. They will arise and do a powerful work. They will begin to speak in every corner. They will speak in every place, in every domain. A new generation of young men and young women are going to come from. Nigeria, you will be saved. Nigeria will be clothed in glory. The days of your shame is gone. The days of your reproach is gone. Because God is not only going to give you one president, but He's going to give you three or four more terms in the future so that during that period of time, the nation will turn around completely. Your currency will become strong. God is going to use the powerful work of the Spirit of God upon the nation and begin to cause the infrastructures to become designed so the currency will become stronger and stronger 
The money in Nigeria will go everywhere. Yes. It will start rebuilding nations. Yes. I said it will start rebuilding nations. Yes. Not only in their nation, but in the nations roundabout. Supernatural things will happen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let's bless Nigeria tonight. Yes. Nigeria be saved. Yes. Nigeria be healed. Yes. This is our contribution to you. We stretch our hands and we bless you. We bless everyone Nigerian. We bless the, the people in the city. We bless the nation. We say you will never be the same again. No more turning back. There's no more reverse gear from Nigeria. You shall rise and go forward. You shall rise and run to the front line. You shall rise and break forth. In your rising, many others will rise. In your rising, many other nations will begin to rise. Africa here. Hear what the Lord is doing in Nigeria. Africa, hear the sound of His voice. Africa, hear the sounds of reform. Africa, start to hear what God is doing in the midst of you. He's beginning to shake a nation so strong and mighty and bring the nation down to His feet so that they will worship Him as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. It's not the God of the North. It's not the God of the South. It's God Almighty. He is God of the nation. Nigeria, receive your king. Nigeria, receive your Lord. Receive your master. Receive your savior. Nation will open up in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Nigeria. You will never be the same again. You will not return to your old ways. You will not return to the ways of corruption and darkness and, and all kinds of violence. You shall go forth in the power of the Holy Ghost. The hand of the Lord shall be mighty upon you to make your nation straight and strong.